Welcome in the seventh episode. In today's episode, we will fix our set game menu scene. So currently, if you select any number of the pairs, our game does not take this one into the account. So let's say we select 20 pairs and let's uh, end fruits. Our game will spawn 20 pictures, which is going to be the 10 pairs. And every, t every single time we, when you start your game, you will have the same number of the picture. So in today's episode, we're going to fix it. So the game will spawn the, the correct number of the pictures based on the, our selection from the set game scene. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open our project and uh, first of all, let's open our scenes and then set game scene and make sure in the under the canvas you have the the pair buttons. So for the 10 pair buttons, we have our set game button script, which is setting the correct number of the pairs as I have it here. Okay, so make sure go through the through those buttons and make sure the correct enum is set for every single button. So I have 20. Okay, so this looks okay. So this is already implemented. We have done this implementation in the in the past episode. So let's go now to the scripts folder and then let's open our picture manager. So inside our picture manager script in the start method, we spawning our picture mesh and every single time we start the game, we spawning the four row and five columns. So in the start method, let's um, let's quickly add some F statement to check how many picture we have selected. So I will just put if we can get the game settings dot instance dot get get pair number. So if the get if the pair number will be equal to game settings dot e pair number dot 10 pairs. So 10 pairs is going to be four by five, which is going to be 20 pictures. Okay, so make sure you have all of it inside the inside the braces. Okay, so this is going to be for our 10 pairs. So I will just copy this F statement and then below I will paste it, paste it, but I will put else. Okay, before this F statement. So otherwise, if we selected the 15 pairs, we want to spawn five columns, sorry, five rows and six columns, which is going to be 30 pictures. And make sure you change move picture as well. So it's going to be five and six. But we want to pass different offset because obviously we're going to have more pictures on the on the screen. So we, we want to make them closer to the, to, together. So I will scroll right at the top and below the offset, I will add another another variable, which is going to be the private vector2 and it's going to be the offset for 15 pairs will be equal to new vector2 and I will just put the value 1.08 f and 1.22f okay this is the value which i already tested if you can you can manipulate this value to see different results if you like but i think this uh, this numbers will will work okay and then uh, below that we're going to create another offset variable so private vector2 offset for 20 pairs will be equal to new vector2 and I will just put the 1.08f and then 1.0f okay there is one more variable which we will need so in case you're gonna spawn the 20 pictures which uh, 20 pairs which is gonna be 40 pictures so we probably will not be able to fit our pictures on the screen because they will be too big so we're gonna scale them down so I will just put the private vector3 new scale down so this is the new scale for our 20 pairs new vector3 and then this is going to be 0.9f 0.9f and then 0.001f okay so I will put this scale and then we're going to use this scale in our spawn mesh. So I will just copy the scale down and I will go to our to our spawn picture mesh 
and then inside this function we have our scale down variable which is currently not used so right below the temp picture i will put the f statement so if we will scale down we want to do the temp picture dot transform dot local scale will be equal to our new scale down okay so we're just gonna assign our new scale to to spawn picture okay and that's it so make sure you put this f statement inside this function and then let's scroll up to our start method and then in the start method we want to replace our offset in uh, in the move picture function to be offset for 50, 15 pairs okay and then we want to copy this else f statement and then paste it below and we want to do the same for our 20 pairs so for 20 pairs we want to spawn the five rows and then eight columns and then make sure you just replace it in the move picture and then we want to use the offset for 20 pairs so offset for 20 pairs okay and then one more thing for the 20 picture we want to scale down all of the pictures so i will just change this boolean var variable to true make sure you do that so we're gonna make the picture a bit smaller okay let's save everything now and then let's go back to unity and now let's go back to our scenes folder and then menu scene okay and then let's press play play and then let's select 20 pictures let's select vegetables so as you see we have one two three four five by eight one two three four five six seven eight which is 40 pictures okay so this this looks okay let's test the same thing for rest of the pairs so for the 15 pairs we have 5 by 6 which is 30 that's correct and then for the 10 pairs we have 4 by 5 which is 20 which is correct okay let's do the same for our fruits but that should work let's let's just ch check 20 pairs and everything seems to be fine so this uh, so that's it for this uh, for today's episode uh, this was a very short episode compared to the rest of them but i hope you enjoy it so the next episode we're gonna actually concentrate on our gameplay and we will we will implement implement the behavior when you actually spawning the pictures and then you'll be able to click on the picture and then reveal the picture underneath if you like this uh, this series please consider to like this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet you can do so by clicking the subscribe button down below so if you had any problem with this implementation please do let me know in the comments below uh, otherwise thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode